I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna make one big log. I'm gonna roll this. See, I've kind of rolled it in on itself. Make sure you're not getting any air trapped at the ends. Roll it down. Make sure. There. I like big feet. <laughs> you don't want it to be, you don't want your log to be too skinny. Uh, I'm going to cut off the ends because they're a little jagged. And I'm going to measure. I'm just smoothing the rough part down at the end where I cut it off, making it a circle again. So I'm going to do feet about an inch, a little over an inch. Just using, you can use a knife if you, if you're adults working at home on your own, feel free to get a knife and use that to cut. See if it works better or not. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to put it flush against the log and I'm going to use it to measure the same length and cut the same length again. I'm going to do that again to make three feet of the same approximate length. There. You can see because I've cut them, they've gotten smushed on the bottoms there. So I'm just going to push with my fingers, make it a circle again, push those rough edges in like that. You can give it a little roll again to make it look more like a circle. And what I like to do for the feet, roll it a bit, tap it, that makes the bottom nice and smooth. Again with this one, smooth out the ends like that. A little Tap, 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 little roll there. That's nice for sitting on your coffee table or your shelf. That's not going to scratch anything. Just moving out these ends again. Tap, 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 roll it around. That's nice and smooth too. So you can kind of line them up again on the table and see if they're the same height. They've kind of got squished a bit, so I'm going to tap them down, make sure they're the same height. And then I'm going to scratch the tops of them where they're going to attach to the pot. Now on the top, well, this is the bottom of the pot. You're going to make like a triangle, a nice even triangle and the three points separate distances from each other at the edge of the pot close to the edge of the pot, not in the middle, is where you're going to make your marks for your three feet. You can see there, kind of even. We're going to do a little water on these scratches on the upside down pot. A little water on our, the top of our feet. I'm gonna take one foot, and stick it to one of the scratch spots. There, and then the last one. Push it down a little bit. There. Now to make it super stick, now this jar I'm using as a mold is pretty heavy, so I'm going to have to hold it a bit. I'm going to let it just squish down onto the table like this for a minute. Without pressing the feet into the pot as well. Have a look and see if it's kind of lopsided. Readjust it, make sure it's like looks even up the top, and then just flip it back up again. So those feet should be pretty securely on there. 
careful as they're drying not to knock one of those feet. It might knock it off. And I'm going to take our trusty straw. <laughs> Bet you wondered when you get the kit why there was some cut up straws in there, eh? This is going to be the little drainage hole, if you want a drainage hole in your pot. I always put drainage holes in mine. Stick it right in the middle. Twist it around a bit. Like a drill. There, there's a little hole in the bottom. Squeeze that out right away before it dries. And there's your pot. Sign your name to it. Always sign your name. So I know whose pot it is. And you're going to set that aside upside down for a couple of hours until these legs and this bottom firms up. And then you're going to be able to turn it over after it's a little firmer. Don't leave it overnight because clay shrinks. So it might kind of like shrink and break because it's trying to shrink past this mold of whatever you're using. Gotta take that out. Let that come out. First, take your mold out. Then tease your plastic out a little bit. Here's your cute little planter. Set that aside and let it dry and don't fiddle with the feet. They'll snap off. <laughs>